bottom end of Porsche's sports car range, while the convertible Boxster would command a price premium. We now know the price of the Boxster although not yet its premium, since the figures for the 718 Cayman are not yet out. The base 718 Boxster will start at $57,050, while the Boxster S will begin at $69,450. That's an increase of $3,900 and $4,500 over the previous car. The new version arrives in June. Two fewer holes, portly or torque curve. So what do you get for your extra outlay? To start, 35 extra horsepower. The new 2.0, litter turbocharged flat 4 makes an even 300 horsepower, giving it near parity with the outgoing Boxster S, while the incoming 718 Boxster S gets a 0.5, litter displacement bump and a variable vane turbocharger, with the result being 350 horsepower. But the bigger news is in the torque curves. The old 2.7, litter flat 6 demanded revs to make power. It's 2.0 litter replacement makes 74 lb feet more than did the old 6, a total of 280, and does it between 1950 and 4500 rpm. The 2.5 makes its peak torque over the same range, only in this hotter application, it's churning out 309 lb feet, the exact same figure as the Boxster Spiders 38, litter 6. Porsche claims the new Boxster with a PDK gearbox and the Sport Chrono package will sprint to 60 mph in 4.5 seconds, while an identically optioned S will do it in 4.0. The last PDK equipped Boxster S we tested got to 60 in 4.2 seconds. Porsche claims the new one is a half second quicker and tends to be conservative with its numbers. Might the new Boxster S hit 60 in 3.5 seconds? The last 911 Carrera GTS we tested managed only 3.6 to 60. The new top speeds increase as well, with the 718 Boxster capable of 170 mph, while the S will make it all the way to 177. Porsche has yet to publish EPA fuel economy figures, but it claims the new engines are 14% more efficient on the European driving cycle. The 718 still don't get the 911 S7 speed manual transmission, but they do come with a 6 speed manual. As before, Porsche's excellent PDK transmission is available. The dual clutch automatic now features virtual gears, which means it sometimes will lightly engage both clutches to activate second and third gear simultaneously under minimal engine load so as to split the difference in ratios for maximum efficiency.